Yeah, day. This is the Adelaide Old Fart. Today we're uh, heading out to north of Adelaide to the St Kilda um, Bangroves Adventure Playground. We go past the Tramway Museum. I'm going into that. Uh, just on the final approach now. Still very wary of left-handers after my little incident the other week. There's the Tramway Museum, which you can't see much of. Never actually had trams run out here, but when they set up an organisation to uh, preserve Australia's, uh, South Australia's trams, all of which were made here in Adelaide, um, they wanted the museum. And this is where it is. Apart from the sheds, there's a uh, short track they built out to the to St Kilda itself. It's operating, you can take a tram ride. And here we are at St Kilda. Okay, which way do we go in that way by the looks of it? Got to get the pair on, which I'm very bad at doing. I tend to be a clutch slipper which is not the right thing to do. Not on a sidecar side anyway. part of the marina where the boats are out of the water. I'm trying to find somewhere where I can see something. Probably get myself into a spot which I can't get out of. Okay. And out here. Let's go for a quick walk. Bit of a pause in production while I walk all the way out to here. Right, this is the Barker Inlet of the Torrens River system. As you can see, mangroves in front of me. Mangroves up there. Mangroves to the north of me, mangroves to the south. Uh, originally settled by the Kana people, of course. The first white settlers were fishermen. Um, there were three islands here, and they built huts to shelter in on those three islands. And uh, eventually, in the late 1800s, the uh, township of St Kilda, which is back behind us, I'll show you that later, uh, started to develop, both with first with a pub, surveyed in the early 1900s, and in about 1948 and then 1957 some big floods came through. So the uh, local council built these retaining walls you can see, filled in the land and turned it into one big flat presented area instead of three very tidal islands. And it slowly developed over the years. This inlet you can see in front of me 
takes you right up to a marina and a boat ramp. Uh, the marina pro provides both in water mooring and hard stock mooring. And this area in front of me is basically mud flats. Water's in at the moment. Blue swimmer crabs can be found there. Very rich fishing area. Because <sighs> all of this is estuary. Uh, up the north estuary. Uh, not York Village. <laughs> St Vincent's Gulf. Don't mind, me, but it's estuarine. <laughs> Um, the mangroves house an incredible range of birds, over a hundred species of birds here, many of them endangered and it's part of the international um, bird sanctuary. I don't know if you can see them, but we've got shags and egrets on a dead tree in front of us, directly across the inlet. Um, there's actually a uh, raised walkway through the mangroves where you can, about 1.7 k's long, you can walk through that and come up close to the mangroves and the bird life that's in there. Might even be other wildlife too, I guess. Um, in recent years, uh, local industry has dumped highly saline water into the waterways and killed off a lot of the mangroves. That's an ongoing political barney because the ind industry wants to uh, continue its dumping and the state government wants to pro um, protect them and it's all somebody else's fault. Meanwhile, the mangroves are dying. Now, right in the distance, you can see two thumping great big funnels, hopefully. That's the Torrens Island uh, power station, no longer used. It's used for other stuff there. And uh, further to the right, big silos and fuel dumps. That's out at Port Adelaide. And the big cranes right in the distance are also in the, to the container terminal at Port Adelaide. And this, as I said, is actually part of the Port River Inlet. It's called Barker Inlet, but it's part of the Port River River system. Okay, there's the adventure playground over there. We're going to wander over and have a closer look at that. Now first I'll take you out and have a quick squiz at the marina. There's a tackle and tucker shop. Very, very popular launching place for fishing. I mean, it's so close to Adelaide, it's not funny. And once you're in there, five minutes later, you're out in good fishing water. It's also very popular for boating, for yachting. Good steady winds off the uh, peninsula, off the Gulf. And over to the left is the Adventure Playground, which is very popular with families. We'll get to that. And there's my little sidecar, which is still called the Bag of Cats, because riding it's like wrangling a bag of cats. Boat's up on the hard stand. Someone launching his boat, or retrieving it. They're probably retrieving it. You can see the masts of the yachts in the water. And the yachts up on the hard stands. And we start to see the Adventure Playground. Forget when it was built. Huge, great big place. You're climbing fort up there, there's a maze down inside it, there's tunnels. And here we are at the Adventure Playground. You may be able to see a kid sliding down on the flying fox opposite. Great flying fox that. I mean, it's rated for adults as well. Playground equipment here, 
picnic area. That mountain is, uh, you climb up and slides down through it. I believe, from memory, there are tunnels through it. Great heap of fun for kids. Kids, child kids area, tiny kids area, swings, basketball, and about climbing frames, slides. A bit for everyone. A lot of fun. And there's more of it that you can't see from here. I'm looking up towards the main mountain. You climb up in there, there's slides out of it, tunnels through it. There's a hollow area out the back. There, uh, there's a wooden maze. Hidden behind it, there's a wreck of a pirate ship on the shoreline, um, which you can climb through and play in, except it's closed at the moment. I'm not sure why. Maybe it needs some work. Um, a great afternoon out if you've got kidlets. Right, the little township of St Kilda itself, originally a fishing village, I guess there's a lot of um, uh, holiday homes in there now, population of around 2000, permanent population of around 2000. Be a top little spot to retire to actually. Get a small boat. There's the St Kilda pub. Built over a hundred years ago from memory. Out of York Peninsula Limestone. Doesn't look that old, does it? Yeah, I'm going to have to turn around, I believe. Here's this tagmas. There's the mud flats appearing. Obviously, the tide's going out. Car park. Okay, let's get. Let's escape. Yeah, nice little place. There's more to it, but not a lot more to it. Metropolis of St Kilda.